Hi. If you found this video, chances are you've got a small block or big block Chevrolet engine that has a leaky oil filter that you can't seem to fix. This is just a possible fix that I've run across uh, if you've already done things like checked out your oil filter adapter and the boss on the block and everything seems good and you're still having a problem with leaking. Um, I found this out probably about seven years ago when I took an engine out of storage and got ready to prime it and um, get it going again, changed out oil pan, oil pump, all the seals on it. Got my drill out to prime it and oil started leaking out of the filter so fast that I actually heard it spattering on the ground, which made me stop and freak out since I'd done so much uh, to it seal wise and just chased it down to the filter. And of course, initially I thought maybe I'd left the old filter seal stuck to the block, which has happened one time to me before years and years ago. But uh, when I took the filter down, what I found was that the seal on the filter had a I'll show you one right here. The seal on the oil filter had a witness mark from the block. The witness mark was really close to the edge of the seal. Um, and I thought that looked kind of odd. So I dug my old filter out of the trash. And of course, at the time, both of them were AC Delco filters. Um, I dug the one out of the trash and checked it, and it was almost a quarter inch bigger around than the new filter. And so I started investigating a little more, went to the parts store, and I started finding two different size filters on the shelf. So long and short of it is, if you've got a leaky oil filter that you can't seem to fix by other means, there's a slim chance that your problem could be like mine and that it's the new filter size that GM went to about seven or eight years ago uh, is causing your problem and your, fil your seal's getting off into the void in the uh, oil filter boss. So... I've had this happen on two blocks actually. It had happened on a 78 4 bolt 350 block that was out of an old truck. Um, and I had it happen actually on a new Dart SHP 400 block um, that was built uh, around 2010. It actually started dribbling a little bit while it was on the dyno and being dyno tuned. So, what I've got here is I went to the parts store today and grabbed a AC Delco PF454. This is the short car application filter, it's the same as the PF25 but uh, just a little bit shorter. Got a perlator, truck application, two-wheel drive, small block, big block filter. K&N car application filter. Uh, they have one for a truck too that's same diameter. And then this is a power flow made by perlator that is probably about six or seven years old. I've got this because when I found this problem with the filters, I went to one of the parts stores and they had a bunch of these they were gonna give to an oil change place because they've been told to take them off the shelf and I bought the whole box that they have of them, so I've got a stash of correct filters because they're getting really hard to find. So I'm going to take these out of the box and show you exactly what I'm talking to so you can kind of see what's going on. There's the AC perlator. K&N and my old Superflow. When I first found this perlator, you could still find a car size filter that was right, and then gradually it changed too. So, if I put these filters on edge, here's the car application, here's the truck. Now, you can see right here, if I've got them on edge, there's a pretty big difference in the seal diameter. And that's the perlator truck filter. There's the K&N car filter, standard size and my old car application superflow slash perlator. So I've mic'd these out and the difference is about two tenths of an inch up to close to a quarter inch depending on what brand you're looking at. Now, it doesn't sound like a lot, but in some cases apparently it's enough to let that seal get over into the void and basically I guess kind of depending on what's like under a pinch when you tighten it up, making the sealer kind of pinch, seal kind of pinch, and you get an oil leak. Um, I guess it's not that widespread. I assume the reason GM changed the spec, spec on the filters is I, I've never compared one of the newer roller cam blocks to an old block to see if the boss was any different, if it had, if the newer blocks have more meat, which let them go to a smaller filter. But I will tell you this, I know they changed over about seven or eight years ago because at the time I could go to the parts store and I could pick up two boxes, same manufacturer, same part number, and it'd be two different size boxes. The old filter, of course, would be bigger and then the new one smaller. So 
hopefully if you've got a oil filter leak you can't chase down or can't get fixed and everything else is, is checking out good, hopefully this will be the fix for it. Now what I found is most of the car application filters are this new smaller size that mics out at about 3.35 inches, whereas the old one mics out at around 3.55 to 3.6, depending on who you're getting it from. So um, hopefully you can still find one on the shelf somewhere, and a lot of times you can take a bunch of them up front, um, and they'll let you check them in front of them because they have kind of a problem people taking cheap filters and putting them in a expensive filter box, and uh, basically stealing filters that way, but if you go in front of them, they usually don't care, and they're usually surprised to see the difference themselves as well. So, good luck to you. Hopefully, uh, if you've got this little problem I was talking about, this will fix you up. Later.